I'm Dawn Monroe. I had a question about downloading calendar invites with the Zoom link embedded for a webinar series. And we want to be able to do this on our websites, uh, is specifically today on a Kajabi website. Uh, so this makes it easy for your clients to get all the Zoom links and all the calendar invites downloaded on their own system. There's several ways to do this. In this video, I'm going to show how to do it uh, managing a Google Calendar. Uh, I've got another video with a Microsoft Outlook Calendar. So I'm going to get started here, and we're going to start with Zoom. So when you schedule a meeting, um, and this, uh, we're, we're going to make a series here. So it'll be a sample series. Um, I'm doing a meeting, it could be a webinar, um, whatever you decide to do. I'm going to go ahead and put these out a little ways. I'm going to put them in October. I'm going to start them at 10 a.m. for an hour. And I want this to be a recurring meeting. It is going to happen um, weekly, once a week on Mondays. And let's say that we want four occurrences. So we're going to do that four times every Monday or most Mondays in October. Um, a, a few other settings. Go ahead and visit your settings. I like my participants to come in with their cameras off and muted when they join my meetings. And so I'm just going to hit save. Okay, once I have that, I usually download these calendar invites. You can also copy your invitation, but I really like to download these calendar invites because what it does is it gives me the embedded Zoom link in the calendar invite. And this just makes it really easy. If I'm, I'm just inviting one or two people, that's easy to do from whichever calendar system I'm using. If I want to then share the entire calendar, which is what we're getting after today, this uh, makes it even better for that. So uh, again, this one is going to focus on your Google Calendar users. So here I'm dropping it in, and what you'll see is it's opening my Google Calendar. It's got the, the meeting link embedded in there. Um, if it's just one or two people, add your guests here. That's easy enough to do. But here it is picking up the whole series. I'm going to go ahead and save it. Now, what you'll see, this is a calendar that um, uh, I use for training purposes, so it doesn't have a ton of stuff on it, thankfully. But here we can see there's the sample series. And so if I want to look at just one of the appointments, I can get in and see it. It's all set up, ready to go. Okay, so now we want to get this out to other people. Can we get the whole calendar out to other people and can we get it on our website? So the answer is yes. You can see here I've got different calendars. So one thing that you might want to do is go ahead and create an additional calendar just for this series. Maybe that makes sense to you. You don't want all your personal stuff, all your other events and all that. You want to kind of separate this out as its own entity. And so I went looking for that. You have to get in, you can get into your settings and sharing here. Okay, when you get into settings and sharing, go to the top, there's a area general, and here you can create a new calendar. So we'll, we'll give a, a unique identity just to the calendar that we want to share out for this specific series of classes or courses. So we'll call this sample and sample series will work and create calendar. And then we will go and let's take a look back. Let's go look. Let's refresh this, make sure it's picking it all up. Okay, sample series is there. So 
This lives on the Don Monroe calendar. I want to add it to the sample series calendar. If I just turn on sample series, it's got nothing. Okay, so from the Don Monroe calendar, I'm going to click on that one of those objects and look. It's got a copy to sample series because I still want the event on my personal calendar, but I do want to make a separate calendar with just this thing. And there it is. It's picking up the whole series and it's got the Zoom link embedded and I save it. Okay, so see how now that yellow uh, indicator is showing me it's on that sample series calendar. Now at this point, this is where I go and pick up my options of how this is going to work and how I'm going to get it out to others. So be careful. If you export the calendar, um, it may not be exactly how you want to get it out to people. It may give uh, a bunch of events you don't want, particularly there are some things in the Google Calendar. Go ahead and roll, roll, roll down. Here are some things you could use on your website. So for instance, if you wanted to give a link to your web uh, to bring this calendar up in a browser, just this calendar, then grab this link. And I'll show you how that works. I'm going to go to Kajabi. And let me bring a page. This is a sample page we're working on. And uh, a couple ways I can do this. So I was showing um, in the Microsoft Office video how I could add a link to the Google Calendar here. So what I can do is, um, is put my wording in there however I want. It's actually going to be more of a, of a view the calendar here. And go to a URL is what I'm going to do here. And then I just paste this link in and save it. Now, what that does, I'm going to give uh, Kajabi a chance to get that showing for us. And let me get my page. I brought it on this side. Here we go. Uh, I'm going to refresh the page, make sure it picked up. And when I go here and click this, what it does is shows me the calendar in a browser and there I can get to the whole series of things in a Google format. And so here um, you can click this add to your Google Calendar and it's telling me mine already exists, but that's how your clients could do it, right? Okay, let's go back and look then at some other options to take that. Oh my goodness, I think here. Okay, sample series, there it is. You could also grab the embed code. Let's copy that and let's go back to Kajabi for that one. Let's do, here's my Kajabi page. Now what I did with this is I went in and added a custom code section and in the custom code, I pasted in that code I just grabbed from the Google site and this made the calendar embedded right in my um, actual website page. So you might like this option too. I'm going to do it uh, refreshed there and I'm going to go back and back. Um, let's hit save a couple of times and make sure. And then I'll preview this page. Let's refresh it again. <laughs> you know how it goes. Keep refreshing. So that was the view the calendar in another tab on the browser. This one's embedded right on the page. So people can come to it like this. Now, I'm not seeing the same kind of link to do that, but if I click at one at a time, I could copy to my calendar 
and it is a series so it does actually let's see that one it just looks like it did just the one at a time it's not picking up the repeat so uh, a little bit different there but you could see there's lots of variations there's ways to do this so so experiment and figure out what is going to be the best way for you to get your google calendar particularly a series of events that that go together um, embedded someplace where people can get to them so again don monroe hope that helps have a great day